Castle Russian, where the swearing-in ceremony is to take place, possesses an ancient clock which was presented by Queen Elizabeth in 1597. His Excellency, wearing uniform, arrives for the inauguration and proceeds to the inspection of the Guard of Honour. The Isle of Man has a constitution all its own, of which Manxmen are intensely proud. Holding the staff of office, Sir Montague takes the historic oath, which is administered by the first deemster or chief justice in wig and gown. Lord Clenchard, Commissioner of Police, takes the salute as Catholic members of the force march to Westminster Cathedral for the solemn Requiem Mass for the repose of those who died while serving in His Majesty's forces during the Great War. The Egyptian minister bids bon voyage to the Egyptian pilots who are flying 10 new Avro biplanes to Egypt to augment their army air force. I hope you'll arrive all safely in time. The former Flight Lieutenant Webster of Schneider Trophy fame is among the British officers attached. planes are to be used for aerial survey and, mysteriously enough, for the suppression of the drug traffic. On behalf of the citizens of Lincoln, I have to give a real Lincolnshire the Mayor of Lincoln is welcoming home the 2nd Battalion of the Lincolnshire Regiment after 36 years absence from the county capital. ...of the Lincolnshire Regiment. The good people of Lincoln give their lads a great send-off as they march off to entrain for Catterick. The Crown Prince and Princess of Belgium arrive at Dover from Ostend, en route for London. The Crown Prince is, of course, the handsome son of the King and Queen of the Belgians, while his wife was, before her marriage, Princess Astrid of Sweden. Strong feelings of affection are felt for the Belgian royal family in Britain, and it is hoped the Prince and Princess will enjoy their private visit. Another eminent traveller by the same boat is the Governor of the Bank of England, Mr. Montague Norman, alias Professor Skinner, who has thrown discretion to the winds and allowed himself to be snapped by movie tone. 